another installment of Five Minute Licks. I hope you're all fantastic. This might be a rather short episode because the chances are you already know this lick or some variation of it. It's used by just about every rock guitar player ever, whether they're the biggest rock stars on the planet or there are nobody making, you know, YouTube instructional videos like me. This is the lick I'm talking about. I call it the rapid fire lick and in the key of E, so up around the 12th fret in E minor, uh, it's this kind of vibe. <laughs> So, if you don't know this lick, there's absolutely no shame. That's why we're here. It is straightforward to learn and you can use it in just about any rock or blues context you like. Uh, like I said, you've probably heard that one before. And if you do know it, stick around because I want to show you a couple of little variations you can do on it. So, the core idea is this. I'm bending fret 15 on the B string. That's a D note. And I'm going to push it up by a tone to the root note. <laughs> Then I'm just playing a descending three note pattern from the E minor pentatonic scale. I'm playing E on the high E string, that's fret 12. Then I'm playing fret 15 and fret 12 on the B. They are the notes D and B, and they are the minor seventh and the fifth. So we're kind of hitting all the sweet notes in. <laughs> Now, two things here, the picking and the fingering. What I like to do is actually kind of bar my first finger across the top two strings. And this is a trick I picked up from watching Doug Aldrich play guitar. He's talked about this before. You keep the bar there and what you do is you actually push the string with your other two fingers. And you might notice that the string actually kind of pops out. The B string I'm talking about kind of pops out from underneath your bar, but it will pop back in. So don't worry too much about that. I find that is a far more efficient and effective way to play this line. And then kind of pick it any way you like. I just tend to stick to alternate picking. So I am going down and then I'm going up, down, up so that I can land, land back on down again. So that's the basic line. I would encourage you to start it off nice and slow so you can control that bend. If you do it, it's a sweet blues leg. <laughs> Very, very nice. Now, to me, that line is bend and then bend, bend. So let's bend some different stuff. This is where we can kind of just expand on that basic idea for now. Uh, a couple of candidates would be the 14th fret on the G string. That is the fourth degree of the scale and we'll push, push it up to the fifth. We'll push it up. All right, we're gonna push it up. <laughs> And, you know, if it's a little bit sloppy, that's kind of the vibe. It's a, it's a dirty, sleazy, greasy rock and roll lick. I like a bit of noise in there. Uh, another candidate would be fret 15 on the high E string. So we could get... I'm getting a Michael Schenker vibe from this one at the moment. Uh, two extra notes that you may not have played around with. Let's get the ninth. So it's going to be fret 14 on the E string, or we could get the sixth, which is fret 14 on the B string. That's going to give it a Dorian vibe. Again, it's kind of going to sound shankery. <laughs> And basically just reach for any note you like that's either in the Dorian mode or the natural minor or in the pentatonic or the blue scale or something outside of that. You know, there's no reason why you couldn't turn this into a Mixolydian sounding lick, say by grabbing the major third, which is fret 16 on the E, bend that by a semitone. This sounds... I like it. I like it a lot. To just close things out, I'm going to show you uh, kind of the guitar solo that I kind of played on the Ragdoll song, Follow the Leader. That's our most recent single. Linked in the video description if you want to get the little backing track stems, they will be up on my Patreon, which is also linked in the video description. The cool thing about this lick, I think, is that because it's so commonplace, it's actually just kind of a blank slate for you to put your character and your kind of signature sound on. So uh, take this lick. If you've done it before, revisit it and try some of those other bending options in there. If you've never done it before, get it under your belt. It's such a versatile lick. Everybody else does it. Be like one of the cool kids. And uh, this actually ended up being a five minute video because I love to talk. Thanks for watching. See you next time.